This is one of the most interesting dinosaur discoveries in recent times. Ubirahara jubatus was a martyr for the cause that dinosaurs were not just scaly lizards. This find provides a scientific community with yet another example of a dinosaur that was preserved with more than just its bones. I'm reminded of these images yet again. Like Sinusoropteryx, Archaeopteryx, and Nodosaurus, we can clearly see structures that paint a better picture of what this animal, and I emphasize this because animals evolve convergently and thus often look and behave similarly, what this animal looked like. Ubirahara jubatus is an extinct species of Lower Cretaceous Compsognathid dinosaur found in Brazil. Ubirahara means Lord of the Spear in Tupi, a native Brazilian language. Jubatus is Latin for maned, in other words, maned Lord of the Spear. Holy cripes. Let's take a look at the thing. It's small, it's furry, it has weird spikes, and it's kind of cute. No wait, I, I take that back. I think it would make a fantastic house pet. Some people use cats to eradicate mice infestations, and I'll use my dinosaur. I know it's a bit difficult to pick out stuff in this fossil, but let's see what we can see. This image is a specimen broken into two separate slabs. You notice in the bottom right of image A that the dinosaur has a long spine protruding from its body. This is what artists depict as the yellow mating display spines. You can see impressions of protofeathers throughout the entire specimen, and especially in the top of image B. As it stands, this animal is our first example of a non-avian dinosaur bearing feathers. Here's my nifty dinosaur flowchart depicting their general lineage, and as you can see here, compsognathid dinosaurs are somewhat early manoraptoriforms, and so it's frankly surprising to see them with protofeathers. Here's a theory. Based on their rough geological timelines, Ubirahara evolved from a descendant of Sinusoropteryx, which evolved from a descendant of Compsognathus. They're all related, and I can feasibly see this Compsognathus evolving protofeathers to adapt to changing climates or environments to become the Sinusoropteryx, which then speciates and specializes into Ubirahara, developing adaptations like mating displays which show that the environment was stable enough not to evolve more defensive or survival-oriented adaptations. Of course, this is just an idea of mine, no scientist said this. There happens to be a bit of controversy surrounding this animal. What's new? You see, this specimen was found in Brazil and exported to Germany in 1995 to be researched. Apparently, it's illegal to export fossils in Brazil. There is an amount of national pride associated with finding a cool dinosaur in your country. It's also cool to be able to study the dinosaurs and publish the findings to the world, but maybe the Brazilians could have done this. The controversial aspect here is that, apparently, the people who bought and sold the fossil broke Brazilian law, and the other controversial aspect is that some believe that fossils should be donated to researchers, because putting a price on fossils fuels their extremely lucrative private sale, which are often hidden from the scientific community. I mentioned this in my video about the dueling dinosaurs. This controversy may end up halting the research of this dinosaur, as well as subsequent publications. According to this article in the journal Science, David Martill, a paleontologist at the University of Portsmouth, says the specimen was exported in 1995 with all necessary permits, based on a 1942 law governing fossil collecting. Alexander Kellner, a paleontologist and director of the National Museum at the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, says, Fossils have been sold in the past in Brazil, but here, we have a vibrant paleontology community that is working very hard to keep fossils like this dinosaur in the country. Everyone is welcome to study them, to publish on them, and then give them back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So here we are with yet another perspective shifting dinosaur find. I'm very thankful to live in a time where dinosaur discoveries are happening every week, and I love having my predisposed beliefs about dinosaurs challenged. This one was pretty cool because I could show it to my mom and hey, she thought it was pretty cool too. So why don't you keep drawing your crazy speculative dinosaur art, because it might not be so crazy after all. As always, thank you for watching, remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.